Today we're going to show you how to make a podcast right on your iPad with bumpers and everything. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad a play. Today we're going to look at an app for podcasters and wannabe podcasters, and we're going to do that in a minute. First of all, I want to let you know, iPad 365, we have a Twitter handle. It's simply iPad 365. Go Twitter me, follow me on Twitter, and I'll follow you back. I'll follow you wherever you will go. Email is show at ipad-365.com, a little bit longer, but still, nonetheless, show at ipad-365.com. Email me if you've got an app that you want to show off, or maybe a piece for the iPad that you want to show off as well. All right, today we're going to show you a very interesting app. It's called Boss Jock. It's for you podcasters or wannabe podcasters out there. Now, when I started podcasting back in 2004, 2005, I had a humongous desktop computer. I had a microphone similar to this one. I had a big bulky mixer that I used for mixing music or uh, doing mixing my drums and stuff like that. And I had a whole bunch of wires going into the computer. Doesn't need to be anymore. Doesn't need to be nowadays. Not if you've got an iPad and a couple pieces that you can get from Amazon, from B&H Photo, or wherever you get your music stuff from. The name of the app is called Boss Jock, B-O-S-S-J-O-C-K, and it's brought to you by the Boss Jocks. And basically what it is, it's an app that puts a soundboard there, puts your recording voice, or your recording there, not your recording voice, well, you can put your recording voice in there as well, and puts it all in one area, so when it's time to record a podcast, you got it all at your fingertips. It's no similar to what a radio broadcaster would have had with radio carts or something like that. So the soundboard can, as you can see, it's a box. So there's about 20 boxes, which you can change to 32 boxes if you need more sounds. You can put all your sounds there. So when you do a podcast, you can have all the little bells and whistles as well as music ready at your fingertips. This is how it works, and it's really cool. On the bottom, you have your vocal, your microphone. Once you hit that, that makes it live, as you can hear. You let it go, and it, and it fades it out. You can choose to fade it out. You can say, just cut out directly. You hit this lock, it stays on all the time until you unhit it again. Now, as you can hear, I'm, I've got my sound up over here so you can hear the end results and stuff like that. Now, I've put on a couple different noises and I put on some music. Actually, I just did a, uh, a hotel walkthrough over on youtube.com forward slash geekers and you can check that out there. I made this song on GarageBand called Mandalay Servant. It goes like this. I'm going to use that as my main music. So we will just turn that off for now. I'm going to use that as my main music for the podcast. And then I, five, uh, I did some recording of some what I call bleeps. Like for instance, this bleep right here. <coughs> which is a little duck sound. We've got Zoics. Zoics. We've got this one. Farfet Nugent. And? Denmark. So we've got four different weird sounds that I could actually put into my podcast, as well as my, uh, my music to come in, my music to go out. So I have all the bits and pieces that I want to have on. Now, but let's say I want to add something. Let's say I want to add into one of these empty boxes a sound, maybe a sound I create, maybe a sound that comes from somewhere else. All I have to do is select one of the empties. I can choose from my music library. I can choose a recording. I can choose from Dropbox, iTunes, Wi-Fi, or iTunes Wi-Fi. Anything that has DRM to it, it will not accept. It'll just say, hey, this is a DRM music. You can put this into the podcast. But anything that you put in for recordings from your music library. So let's say, uh, like I do, I have a few Day in Tech History podcasts in my library. I could actually put Day in Tech History podcast right there. It'll import it and put it into that empty box. So when I hit that button, and there's my Day in Tech History podcast, which by the way, you can find over at www.dayintechhistory.com. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm just going to X that, whoops, I'm just going to X that out, delete it out, remove it from the cart, which is that simple. I can go back in, I can grab stuff from my Dropbox. So I can create items and I can put it in my Dropbox. Now I have the, the, the bunch of bleeps I could put in here. Let's, let's do bleep number nine. It's going to import it. And then... This is so long I have time to explain about this bleep. See, there you go. 
So I have it right here. The only thing that I can't do is I can't move these around. So if I wanted to take this and actually move it to where the bleeps are, I'd ha I'll have to remove it and then bring it down here, which is now in, not in my music library, but in my recordings as bleep number nine. So I can put that here and instantly be in there. Now the cool thing about this is when you start a recording, you can actually color code all these buttons. Like for instance, this bleep right here, I can color code it red. It's, it's red already. So it starts ready, but when I use it, it, well, while it's recording, that red will actually gray out, saying that I've already used this bleep already, or I've used this track already. I can even take a recording, do a recording, turn around, put it into my track. So let's say I want to record something so I can go get a drink halfway through an interview or something like that. I can bring it in, do my interview, and when it's time, I just hit that button, go get my drink, come back, sit down, and continue on. You don't even notice the difference. Talk a little bit more. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the interface, and then we'll show you how to do some recording and show you about this extra stuff over here, too. You have the mix option. You can, you can choose your mix level, your mic level, and your cart level. So your mix right here, your mic, and I'll, and start, I'll start ta ta talking, talking into this, into this. And, and I can, I can adjust, adjust it from, it from here. here. Here's a little here's soft, soft, here's a loud. loud. And then, and then uh, uh, when, I'm, when I'm done, you just uh, let go on it and go from there. Things like music, you're saying, well, wouldn't the music cause problems because it'll mix with your microphone and the levels will be kind of weird, right? No, not necessarily. There's a thing called ducking. It's an actual, it's a processor that they used to, it used to be a really big box that you'd have on radio. So when music was playing, somebody started talking on the mic, all of a sudden that music would go from here to here. And that's what this does. We'll click on Mandalay Surf. As you can see, the settings button, you can see the whole wave right here. I can actually choose certain in and out points. Um, I can choose the color, of course. And then there's a little duck right here. And if I, if I remove that little duck, it doesn't do the ducking. So if the level, the music level's here and I start talking, it stays here. But if I turn that duck on, I can say, okay, once I start talking, go down to this level. All right, some other options here. We've got an auto rewind button. So if you turn that off, that means that when it starts playing, if I stop it at any point, it'll stop at that point. And then when I hit that button again, it will continue on. Um, but of course, we want to auto rewind every time I stop it. We have uh, looping enabled. So if I wanted to just play back, go back to the beginning and start playing again, I can do that as well. We'll turn that off. And then this one right here, it's called fade disabled. So that means if I turn it off, it turns off. And I like that more than the fade at anything. Now, let's take a look at this, uh, this uh, cut. We'll go back to the bleep, and this time we're just gonna turn the fade off, but this time I wanna uh, mark in my in and out points. So I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna click on here, as you can see, there's a little purple line at the beginning, and I'm gonna hit the button that says in, and that'll put the in point. If I go over here, I'll hit that button that says out, and it shows the out point. There's the in point. And of course, if I let go of the end point, you see how it's, it's, it's yellow and now it's gray if I turn it off. But this is the in and out point and it remembers that. So if you have a lot of white space in between, your, in between the recording, you can cut that all out and get to the, to the guts of it. Or let's say you have a two minute recording and you only want two seconds of it. You can mark in the in point, mark in the out point, and it, the rest of it will not play. And that's pretty cool there. So we have our bleep set up, we have our music set up, we're ready to do some recording, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that right after this. All right, let's, let's talk about this a little bit more. Now, what I have here is kind of a basics in podcasting, and if you're joining me from over at howtorecordpodcast.com, which I will also be posting this video over at, you can go over to howtorecordpodcast.com to find out all about podcasting. What we have here is a simple podcast setup where you have your iPad, you have a little cable here. It's, it's a lightning cable because I have the iPad generation 4, the lightning cable to USB. Now you can plug in a lot of USB drives, but you can also plug in USB microphones, and that's really cool. What I have here is actually what's called the Audio-Technica ATR2100. It is a very interesting microphone because not only is it USB, but it's also XLR. So if you actually had to plug it into a mixer, you could do that. You can actually plug it into a mixer and plug it into USB at the same time, which uh, could be very useful for you. Now, I have it on a stand, but I also put in what's called a gooseneck. 
which is a bendable neck. So if I need to bend it closer to me to get closer to my mouth, I can do that. And I can position this microphone in a good place. So when I start talking, you don't hear the hisses of the S or the pops of the P's, which is why I have the microphone pointed this way as opposed to pointed directly in front of me. Otherwise, when I P or I hiss, you will hear that and it just doesn't sound right. So basically, that's all it is in this podcast rig is the iPad to this special lightning adapter for USB, the USB cable that goes into the USB microphone. Of course, the switch for the USB microphone has to be on. And then, of course, I can use that for recording. I can easily use my iPhone earplugs to do the same thing. But in this case, I'm using them as headphones, which on this Audio-Technica, I can plug right into the microphone and hear myself. Now, like I said, everything's going through my Mac, so you can hear what's going on. So when I go to record the podcast, you can you can see what's going on from there. There's going to be a slight delay, so because of that, it messes with my mind, so I might start to sound like I'm slowing down. But this is basically how it works. When I hit the record button, I start playing the music, and then I'm going to start talking. I'll do a couple bleeps, and then I'll kill the music, and then I'll go out of the podcast, and we'll have the recording from there. So let's do that. Hit record in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, children of all ages, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Powers here, and this is iPad 365, and I'm going to turn this down just a little bit so I can keep going, and of course, you are on the iPad 365 podcast version, we're talking about Boss Jock, and how you can use that. We'll put in a couple bleeps here, like this one, and this one, and of course this one. Farfanugan, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to the podcast, and we will see you next time on iPad 365. And from this point, I hit the slide to pause where I will pause the uh, recording, and then I can choose finish from there, or I can continue to record. I'll put in a, I'll put in something here. We'll go iPad 365 audio, and then we'll hit save recording. Now, you can save it to the iPad, you can save it to a Dropbox folder, you can email it, you can send it up to a SoundCloud. You just have to go to this iPad 365 audio, and that brings up that window. I can now play it. Ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, children of all ages... Of course, the echo is because of the fact I had the volume up. And I'm going to turn this Always turn down your volume. So I can keep going. And of course, you are on the iPad. And now you can hear that the uh, you can hear that the volume is now down. So now I can put in my description. I can add a photo so it adds the ID three tag. But then I can take this. I can turn around and I can save it as a file name. And then I can upload it. Like I said, to Dropbox, to SoundCloud. I can email it to myself. I can do a few different things with it. There are a couple other things we're going to show you. This one right here, this shows you how much you can actually duck uh, music from vocals. Attack release, that's basically when I start talking, how fast it responds to that, and how slow it will take to release it when I, when I stop talking. Um, we have fades, which we can change. With this microphone, it's got a smaller range, so putting a low-cut filter in also helps with the vocals. I, ha I can choose from 20 carts or 35 carts, and I have a low buffer if my iPad's filling up with stuff, doesn't have much space, or I decide to record a pretty long podcast. I can get feedback, help, and about uh, everything here. Now this other one is a, is a notes area, so if I need to make notes on the podcast, where I need to cut out, you know, like, like let's say I'm doing an interview with somebody and all of a sudden I realize I said something wrong, I can look at the time that I, was, uh, I said that wrong and I can put those notes in to say, hey, go into an editor, cut that out later, and then, uh, and then go ahead and post the podcast, a whole bunch more. So I can be on the road. I don't need my machines. I just need my iPad. And like I said, a simple podcast rig that could just be your iPhone headphones. But if you want to make it a little bit more complex, a little bit more fun, you can actually pick up all this stuff. This, uh, the cable's $19. The microphone was $35. Comes with the stand. You can get a mixer, two-channel mixer. Then you can do one-on-one -on -one interviews. Or you can do things like uh, phone calls. So you can do one-on-one -on -one call recordings using like your iPhone. You just have a special cable that plugs it into the mixer. The mixer is USB, which plugs it into the boss jack. 
and then you can uh, you have more dials to deal with but of course you can actually do a one-on-one -on -one phone recording podcast as well many different ways I'm really impressed with this program it's called boss jock check it out it's not free it's actually $9.99 in the App Store, but it's well worth it. And you can also put it on your iPhone if you, uh, if you want to be even more compact. Check it out, Boss Jock by The Boss Jocks. And that's this episode of iPad 365. It was a longer episode, but you know, there was so much into this that it's amazing what you could do. Like I said, you'll see this on iPad-365.com. But I also have another website, howtorecordpodcasts.com. Howtorecordpodcasts.com. I have information on how to podcast. If you're interested in getting into podcasting, check it out over there. And of course, this, uh, and I'll have an article for this, uh, this app, Boss Jock, over on howtorecordpodcasts.com. All right, we will be back on Monday when there'll be another app that we'll, I'll review for you and show you what is cool. And of course, if you have any apps, let me know. Twitter me over at iPad365. Of course, the email is show at iPad-365.com. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for listening. My name is Jeffrey Powers. We will see you next time on iPad365. And until then, uh, like you're seeing me do right now, you got to geek out.